welcome to this video this is lecture number 56 already 55 lecture covered the solution of the supplementary problem of this vector arrangement by ms Pinel. in this video you want to solve the supplementary problem of 6.46 to 6.48 of the chapter 6 which calls the divergence stokes and related integral theorem mainly green's theorem already 55 lectures covered the previous solution if you want you can see the solution from the link will be given in the description box so let's start with question 6.46 find the area of the loop of the four lifted rows okay where equation is given by row equals to 3 phi 3 shine 2 phi okay so if you plot this curve in the this is a polar curve if you plot this equation you can see at phi equals to 0 rho equals to 0 and phi equals to pi by 2 also rho equals to 0 at phi is equals to 0 rho equals to 0 okay sin 0 is 0 at phi equals to pi by 2 the rho equals to also if we put pi by 2 this is also 0 so the curve will be like that one leaf two leaf three leaf four leaf this will be symmetry i cannot draw symmetrical it's a problem think this is a symmetrical okay okay so uh, from the previous uh, question 6.45 if you don't know please go to the restriction box there link is given and you can see from 6.45 problem we know the area will be half rho square d phi in case of polar coordinate polar coordinate okay in case of polar coordinate this will be 1 by 2 rho square d phi so we need to put here 1 by 2 rho square equals to 9 sin square 2 phi d phi for one leaf you can see this limit will be 0 to 0 to pi by 2 so if we put here 2 uh, so this become 9 by 4 and 2 sin square d5 will becomes 2 sin square d5 will become 1 minus cos 2 of 2 phi that is 4 phi d5 just integrate this just integrate this we will we get phi minus sin 4 phi by 4 0 to pi by 2 sin uh, if we put pi by 2 this is 2 pi sin 2 pi 0 and sin 0 is 0 so this part will be 0 you will get only this part that is 9 by 4 into pi by 2 that is 9 pi by 8 this is for one loop so for total loop total will be total will be 4 into 9 pi by 8 that is 9 pi by 2 this will be the total value and for a for a loop this will be the integral value of this i think clear go to the next one next question says 4.6.47 uh, find the area of the both loops of the leven script the, the this equation is given here you can see at phi equals to 0 at phi equals to 0 phi equals to 0 cos phi is uh, cos 0 is 1 so this will be rho square equal to s square and phi equals to pi by 2 okay. pi by 4 if you say pi by 4 so this will be 2 pi this will be equal to 0 the curve of this equation will be like that at 0 this will be maximum so curve will be like that okay in the symmetrical this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis this is the external curve so the limit will be minus pi by 2 to plus sorry minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 and multiply by 2 you will get the total area so in the previous solution we know the from from 6.45 we know that area will be area will be half rho square d5 so half rho square is nothing but a square cos 2 phi d phi what will be the value of phi minus pi by 2 pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 so this will be 
स्क्वायर बाय टू तो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट विल बी साइन टू फाइ बाय टू एंड द लिमिट विल बी माइनस पाइ बाय फोर टू प्लस पाइ बाय फोर प्लस पाइ बाय फोर पाइ बाय फोर राइट सो दिस इज स्क्वायर बाय फोर एंड साइन टू इनटू पाइ बाय टू दैट इज साइन पाइ बाय टू हिच इज वन माइनस साइन ऑफ माइनस वन इज माइनस वन सो दिस वी कम टू सो दिस इज स्क्वायर बाय टू दिस इज स्क्वायर बाय टू सो दिस इज फॉर वन लूप सो टोटल विल बी टोटल दिस इज फॉर फॉर वन लूप ओके सो टोटल इक्वल्स टू टू इनटू दिस स्क्वायर बाय टू दैट इज स्क्वायर so total area of this loop will be square one part is square by 2 this will be also square by 2 due to symmetry so we can say total area will be square clear go to the next one this question says that uh, this is a fourier of discarded whose equation is given by this okay here the are given a hints y equal to tx take this parametric equation and use this factor so the area from the previous solution uh, you can see from the previous video the uh, area of a curve also in the cartesian coordinate area of the curve in the cartesian coordinate with x dy minus y dx okay so if you put this uh, y equal to tx so dy is equals to t dx plus x dt right so put here so half x is x is x dy is t dx plus x dt okay minus y dx y is tx tx dx so just expand that is x t dx plus x square dt minus x uh, tx dx so you can see these two are uh, term are cancel out only x square dt will be present okay so what will be the uh, x in terms of t we need to uh, find out the value uh, from here we can see x s cube plus y cube what will be the value of y cube y cube equals to t q x s cube t q x s cube right equals to 3 a x x is x y equals to t x i think i need to change the color is this color is okay uh, if i take uh, x square common from x s q this will be x s q so x s q common so 1 plus t q and this is no 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 this is not right uh sorry take x s q and 1 plus t q this is also not correct so we to take black black uh, yes 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 x s q so this is 1 plus t q and this is 3 a x square t so x square x square cancel out a x 1 plus t q and this is 3 a t right so you can say x is equals to 3 a t by 1 plus t q this is the value of x put here so half integral x square so this is 9 x x square t square 1 plus t q whole q dt clear and from the parametric equation you can see the minimum value of t minimum value of t will be 0 to maximum value is 1 so i just take this in the next page that is the area will be half integral that is not half that's mean this is a okay cut so 9 a square can be taken out so 9 a square by 2 t square dt and this is 1 plus t q whole square this is correct t square ha huh, this is correct and the t will be 0 to 1 t will be 0 to 1 okay so you need to so you need to change uh, so you need to uh, just integrate of, about this so i want to take 1 plus t q equals to some uh, another parameter uh, suppose z 
so 3 t square dt you will be dz so this will be 9 s square by 2 and t square dt so this is dz by 3 so i take 3 as 1, uh, 1 plus so this is dz so z square and the limit will be changes at t z if t is 0 z is 1 t is 0 z is 1 t is 0 z is 1 t is 1 z is 2 so this will become 1 2 2 this is 3 s square by 2 and this is minus 1 by z 1 2 2 so this is 3 s square by 2 minus half minus of minus 1 that is plus 1 that is plus 1 that is 3 s square by 2 and this become half so this is 3 s square by 4 3 s square by 4 3 s square by 4 clear is this okay 48 3 s square by 4 3 square by 4 clear so uh, this is the solution uh, where t equals to given from 0 to 1 okay I think there is a need of multiplication of 2 3 square by 2 3 square by 2 i think there is a mistake of two where is the mistake the mistake will be arises from zero to t equals to zero to one that is i comes from zero to one that is the half portion okay so this is the half portion area area is the half portion actually this taken from the zero to one that is the maximum value so this is from the half portion this is for half portion half. so total will be total will be 2 into 3 a square by 4 that is the 3 a square by 2 is the total area of this equation 3 a square by 2 is the total area of this equation clear so that's it this is all about me this is my contact details you can contact with me by whatsapp regarding any physics related question or uh, this is my youtube channel you can go to this channel you can see all the video which already uploaded Share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe to this channel if you are new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the new notification while I will be uploaded new video. Thank you. Take care. We will meet in the next video as soon as possible.